What is going on, ladies and gents? Hope everybody's having a decent day. My oh my. Tattoo chef stock is blade today. Last time I checked, it was down about 15%. And for those who watch channel, know that I have about 28% or so of my entire stock market portfolio in Tattoo Chef. So I'm feeling the pain as well today. But I'm going to go over some of the numbers today, especially some of the key takeaways from the conference call, their earnings report, and hopefully explain my thought process for a lot of these things and answer questions about what's going on. Before we freak out and before we panic sell, let's let's think about this logically. Branded sales increased 62% to 33 million or 65% of total revenue. If you follow Tattoo Chef closely, you probably know that Tattoo Chef is not a super new business. It's been around since 2017, I believe, but they were a white label business, which means Tattoo Chef would produce product and food for other brands like Whole Foods or Costco or whoever. That company would actually brand the product as their own. The margins with that are razor thin. They're really small. You're not going to have a really profitable business and a really big business at the same time with that kind of model. You're going to need your own brand. So last year and the year before, really focused on their own Tattoo Chef brand and having their own products and shifting towards that. To see 62% up of their own brand is great. I think it's going to get to like 85%, 90% over the next few years of almost everything being their own brand. You know, the management was really high on this earnings, even though Wall Street and a lot of retail investors didn't like it. The growth we have experienced in the first half of 2021 is a testament to the strength of the Tattoo Chef brand and ability of our management team to execute, says Sam Gallet, President and CEO. We are firing in all cylinders, winning distribution, and leading national retailers like Kroger, Publix, and Albertsons, and our velocities are outperforming the competition, which is facts. They're getting almost everywhere. They're moving at a breakneck pace that I haven't seen from a food company. By the end of the third quarter, we expect our brand Tattoo Chef products to be in over 12,000 retail stores. Their previous goal for the whole year was 10,000 stores so they're exceeding that revenue was 50.7 million a 45 percent increase compared to 34.8 million in the prior year and they were slammed by wall street because wall street had them doing about 54 million or so estimated and they came in about four million dollars short but they're still up 46 percent year over year growth you're not seeing that in any other food company 46 percent growth that's like growth of a tech company fintech company growth net loss was 53 million dollars yeah, yeah 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 this loss includes a one-time non-cash expense 46 million dollars so that was a lot of the 53 million right there is a one-time cash expense we're not too worried about EBITDA either Worried about top line growth and worried about the revenues getting better. And they didn't have as good expected top line growth, but they had really good top line growth if they compare. If you compare Tattoo Chef to itself last year, which is what we really care about. Can't always please Wall Street, can we? Cash position, they have a cash position of $140 million. The market cap right now is around $1.4, $1.5 billion. So they have about 10% of their of the market cap is cash, which is good for expansion. That's what they're going to need for expansion, especially if they're not profitable yet. Outlook, revenue in range of $230. $5 million, $242 million is what they're still guiding for. So even with this current not living up to Wall Street and having $50 million for the quarter, they're still projecting to have $235 million for the year. Q1 and Q2, and we add those numbers together, Tetris Chef's done about $100 million for the first two quarters. So to get $235 million, simple math, you have to do $135 million, which is about over $65 million per the next two quarters to have a chance to get $235 million, which I think they can do that, and I'll get to why later. Yeah, they're going need six five million dollars um on average in q3 q4 to get to that and gross margin in the range of 16 percent 22 percent is their goal i think they can do that they can definitely get over 20 percent over time probably more towards around 25 percent over the next three five years or so so i like to see that the shares are not being diluted as well they haven't had to dilute any shares as a shareholder you like that the share value of your asset cash to debt is very manageable we only like to look Mostly at current liabilities, because current liabilities forty five million dollars. That's what we have to pay. That's what we have to pay in, in the near future. And if you look at their cash, forty million dollars next to forty four million dollars. That's not. It's not an issue. And I took some notes from the conference call as well. They're set to reach seventy five to eighty percent branded sales within two to three years, which is great for March. Sam Gallet on the conference call said verbatim: "Tattoo Chef is positioned to be the leading plant based food company for years to come. Leading plant based food company for years to come. That is a very bullish statement. It goes to show." that he, he he believes a lot in Tattoo Chef business. And to be the leading plant-based food company, he'd have to pass Beyond Meat in market share. And Beyond Meat as today is around a little under $8 billion market cap. So to do that, Tattoo Chef is a 
about a 5x. That'd be sweet for us shareholders, wouldn't it? Consumers can eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner products and with varying styles of food and sauces to accommodate different kinds of taste buds for different folk. Vertically integrated production. This will help out gross margins for production to shipping it out. Um, Tattoo Chef is going to be that company and they're going to get into, I think, e-commerce as far as shipping out their products and stuff like that more in 2022, 2023. And they'll probably get into that. They have two skews among the top 10 veggie food ranked. I'm not sure where that's ranked from, but refrigerated ambient products are being launched next year. I have been saying that Tattoo Chef is not just a frozen food brand. Tattoo Chef can get into refrigerated items, snacks, foods, and that can be served in restaurants and airports, they say. So they're expanding what they offer. Sam said that the, quote, Hispanic Southwest food category is a $20 billion market opportunity. Tattoo Chef can get even 1% of that $20 billion market opportunity. That's still $200 million in revenue they can get. Just one percent of it. Expansion to convenience stores as well. This is interesting. Getting into convenience stores can appeal to a whole nother niche of people that travel a lot, such as truckers. I'm sure truckers don't always like eating food that's terrible for you, like sausages and spam and stuff like that, ramen noodles. They probably want a healthy option sometimes as well. So that'd be really good for that. At the end of 2020, Tasha Chef was in around 4,000 stores. Eight months later today, they're in over 8,000 stores. Wow. And they're going at 12,000. And they said the goal was to have 30 SKUs per store. 30 SKUs per store. Right? Right now they're getting in where they first get in like they're getting in around seven SKUs per store I imagine 30 that's what times four come on now they said in one mass retailer tattoo chef has number one and two SKUs in the sales and frozen vegetables and entree meals in total dollar sales unsure which retailer this is they didn't say maybe target because if you recall i believe it was last earnings call several months ago target advised that tattoo chef has had the most successful frozen food launch in the history of target that's a huge statement because target's been around a while and they've had quite a few products to say that a huge statement launching plant-based chicken products this is big it allows further SKU expansion and and there's a lot you can make from plant-based chicken products. You can make chicken parmesan, like all kinds. There's just, there's just dang near limitless meals you can make. They show Tattoo Chef double brand awareness in the last few months. That's what we're really trying to do right now. They're not worried about net profit or anything like that. They're trying to grow the business, trying to grow their brand awareness. People know about them so they can buy their food. They're launching e-commerce, like I said earlier, subscription service later, later this year. Okay, 2021, nice. Shipping and freight costs are really high right now. It's high for all businesses. I'm not worried about this. I think this would be somewhat transitory as, you know, the rate at which shipping costs are skyrocketing right now. At some point, it's gonna have to level off. Shipping costs are out of control. SKUs per retailer when accepted has gone from 4.7 SKUs initially to 7.7 SKUs, which means that companies are liking that. So my thoughts are, Growth companies can miss on revenue sometimes. Tesla missed on revenues quite a bit whenever it was coming up. Amazon missed on revenue sometimes when it was coming up. Amazon's entire market cap was cut like 90% at one point during the dot-com bubble. It's all about top-line growth and getting into stores and getting more SKUs in the stores. Margins and net profits take care of stuff over time. The main thing is that Tattoo Chef is expanding and doing great things to set themselves up nicely for the next years. I don't care about right now. I care about coming years for this company. The revenues will come. Be patient. I think Q3 2021 will be a jump in revenues for Tattoo Chef from getting into Kroger really isn't even factored into Q2 numbers for his earnings report because Tattoo Chef didn't even launch in Kroger until mid-July. I think July 17th is when they launched. That's not even built into Q2, but it's going to be built into Q3 revenues. Um, Tattoo Chef in Q3 2021 has launched in Sprouts and some Albertson stores and Kroger, like I said before. Tattoo Chef will be in Publix Q4 2021 starting out. Tattoo Chef will begin licensing international opportunity as well. So they're going to be trying to ease into international expansion. Tattoo Chef reiterates $300 million total revenue of 2022 so they feel like they're on target even though they miss analysts uh estimates or whatever Tattoo chef has 62 SKUs available right now 250 SKU ideas in the vault on launch my thoughts <clears throat> i think the tattoo chef's revenues really weren't that hot this quarter because even though they were getting into places they were doing like a lot of promo deals and just a lot of deals in general to where the cost of their items were significantly down because they wanted people to try their items to see that it was really good products to get the name out there to get their food into people's refrigerators and freezers and whatnot. So they took a hit as far as profitability and as far as even revenues go right now. But in the long run, I think this should pay off. And whenever you get more SKUs in the stores, whenever your brand name gets more um, more out there, they've hired people for marketing and they start marketing in April and they're gonna continue this snowball of getting people to know who they are and uh, the premier brand in plant-based food. 
and they're gonna get into restaurants like I said before. They're gonna get into whole new niches and areas. Right now, they're just frozen food. Imagine when they, imagine the revenues when they fully scale into restaurants, <clears throat> into convenience stores. They're talking about airports, Southwest food market area, tortillas. Like, come on now, snacks. Come on now, bro. Like, yeah, I think the revenues will probably start to pick up sometime 2022, and then 2023 we should see a significant increase in revenues. And uh, like I said too. Their New Mexico facility is capable. They're capable of producing five hundred million dollars out of that. So, uh, yeah. So that's why I think about it. Even though the stock's plummeting today, it's ain't a short-term game. People lack true understanding of companies. I guess why they get scared and whatnot. Even though the revenues weren't what we expected from Tattoo Chef, the fundamentals of Tattoo Chef visibly are getting better, and they're visibly getting into more stores, and they're growing. And that's what a growth company is supposed to do. They're growing. They're growing, and they're Revenues year over year is still really good. So forget Wall Street. We're going to get these gains, okay? So hope you liked the video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. I'll be having Tattoo Chef videos. Small Direct Club videos. Small Direct Club is beginning to hammer it too. And uh, some other stock as well. Stay tuned. Y'all have a blessed day, okay? See ya.